Many reform committees have been established, but conclusions often go unimplemented. Understanding this, a national public hearing on constitution and electoral reform commences behind me, and the chairman assures that this effort is unlike any other. Chairman of the committee, Senator Ken Namani, says the move to make the body's conclusions an act of law rather than unimplementable documentation separates it from previous commissions. The National Assembly is not a rubber stamp, and the executive branch of government cannot be said to be a rubber stamp. So they would think how it is. So many of the members here of this committee are veterans in political uh, warfare. Or if you're a professor, has to do this assignment. Yes, you can do it from the theoretical standpoint. You may not have had the practical experience. A senior advocate offers dissenting opinion. Nothing will come out of this, your assignment. It will be shaved off by political vampires, those who do not want this country to move forward. After the early fireworks display, the we hearing begins in earnest. The Constitution should be amended to reduce the age for qualification of contesting election. We want 25 years for State Assembly and House of Representatives, and we want 30 years for Senate, 35 for governors and presidents. The abuse of caretaker chairmanship in local governments across Nigeria has given rise to the call for the abolition of state electoral commissions, amongst other recommendations to the committee. For a presidential candidate who has to deal with maybe 120,000 uh, polling units to file an election petition at the same time with somebody who contested elections to the House of Representatives who is dealing with a um, uh, fewer number of polling units. While some participants advocate the establishment of an independent election offenses tribunal, others say that amending current processes will suffice. Arjuri Ngilali, Channels Television News.